Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fall glam makeup look. That is what I have on today. And I'm absolutely in love with this look, and I know you guys will too, so let's just get right into it. Woo! Okay guys, so I've zoomed you in to get started on the brows and the eyes since we're doing them first today. First product I'm going to be using for the brows is the Makeup Obsession Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. Since I have dyed my hair a little bit darker on the root, I went for a darker brow, so I just purchased this and I'm excited to try it out. It comes with a little brush, which I'll be using. Next for the brows, I'm going to be using this Gimme Brow Plus by Benefit. I literally love this stuff. Um, I can't decide if I like this one or my ColourPop Boss Brow Gel more. I can't tell because like they're both so similar, but this one actually is a little bit darker. So when I'm using a brow pomade, although I love them probably more than I love brow pencils, but they do always bleed above and below my eyebrow, so I do have to cut them with concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to use more concealer on my eyelid to become like an eyeshadow primer. Since we don't have one, we're using concealer, which is just as good, by the way, ladies. It's just as good. I've been absolutely obsessed with my e.l.f. like mini palettes. I forgot what they're called, but I love this one. This is like bite-sized eyeshadow. This is in pumpkin pie, which is perfect for what we're doing. I didn't even know it was called that. I'm just going to be dipping into this first color right here. I really want it to be a warm brown, more like almost orange. I think I'm good for right there. Now I'm going to take the same brush because I'm going to take the darker shade and I'm just going to deepen up the crease and the outer third. I want to keep this more of a brownie warm instead of just orange because I did that last year and I want it to be a little bit different with more of different techniques because I am more experienced than I was a year ago. Yes. Okay, so now I'm dipping into my Morphe palette. I'm not sure what this one's called, but it's like the one that's more orangey brownish tones. I think I'm going to go with one of these browns down here, one of these, or one of these, kind of just a mixture of all and see how I feel about it. And now I'm going to take a Natasha Denona, like little, tiny little single shadow. It's more of a pumpkin-y shimmer kind of like. My inner corner of my brow bone um, and on the center of the lid. So let's see how this rolls. And I'm also going to spray it with setting spray. I'm using the LA Colors setting spray. Okay guys, so the eyes are finished. I zoomed you out so we can start going on the skin. So for a primer today, I'm going to be using the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This is what it looks like. It's silicone-free. I've used it once before and I remember loving it, so that's why I want to try it again. So let's try it out. Let's do it. Okay, so for foundation today, and we're going a little different. I don't think this has ever been featured on my channel, or if it has, it's only been like one time because I've only used it one time. It is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F9. Look at this. It comes with a, what is this called, a doe foot? And to blend that out, I'm just going to use a makeup sponge. It fits my skin color very well. It's a little paler, a little ghostly. So next we're going to go on with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealer. I love this stuff. You guys know it's been on my channel plenty of times before. Um, I just think it's the perfect tone for my skin color also. And it's going to even out this kind of ghostly effect. Alright, so since I'm looking a little ghostly, we need to put some color on this face. So we are going to go in with the kind of cream contour. I've never tried it before. It is by Trestique, and there's actually comes with a brush. It's a color and cheek stick, so it looks like this. And and there comes with the brush on the other side. How convenient. I've never tried this before. It looks like a deep color because we need it. Look at my skin right now. We need it. Now I'm going to be setting my face with the Laura Mercier powder. I love this powder. You guys know. I mean, I think I use this in every single one of my tutorials. I'm just going to put that on with the beauty blender, and you guys know the drill. All right, well, that's baking in the oven. We're going to go in with another powder. It's the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 230 Natural Buff. I'm just going to buff this into the, into the face with a new brush. Actually, this is the Complex Contour Plush powder brush. So I've just wiped off the powder and now we're going to go into contour. And by contour I really mean just bronzer because we did already contour. But you get the point. This is the Wet n Wild bronzer color icon and it is in the shade What Shady Beaches which is such a fun one of names. It is absolutely an orangey brown. I chose an orangey brown on purpose to correlate with the eyes 
And because it is a fall makeup, you need some orange. Come on, it's Halloween. All right, next on the list is the e.l.f. Brick Red Blush. This is the Luminous Primer Infused Blush. I love this blush, and I actually chose this blush because it is so deep. It's really going to show up on my skin. I'm going to spray my face before I put on my highlighter so that it can be a little bit more blinding. And also, it's time to spray. And I'm using the Jeffree Star times morphe set and refresh mist and the strawberry scent because this scent is to die for um for how today we're going to go in with the ofra cosmetics collab with nikki tutorials the highlighter and glazed donut this highlighter is unbelievable you guys it's the most blinding thing i think i've ever worn in my life it's kind of got like a either a blue or a pink undertone when you look at it but I know it doesn't fit like the fall theme, but like you gotta see this, you gotta see this. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm just gonna put on the Gimme Brow once more time because it, with powder, it kind of loses its kind of pigment. So I'm gonna use the Eye Lure Lashes in Luxe Cashmere. I'm gonna put on my lashes and then I'm gonna apply Milk Mascara Makeup. I love this stuff. Um, I tried it in a video, in First Impressions video a while back and I've used it every day since. Call me addicted. So we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Define Align Brownish Black, Brownish Black Eyeliner. It's a pencil and it goes right in your waterline and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna blend it out with a brush and see what the effect gives. All right, so this is what we're looking like. I really think that made a huge difference and I couldn't be more happy with it. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna have to do my lashes off camera. All right, and we are back with lashes. Um, you guys know how I feel about lashes. I think I can go without or with them. The next thing we're gonna do is, since we're up here in the face, I'm gonna actually put some faux freckles on and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel Pencil for this. It's for brows, but I use it for faux freckles all the time, and it's okay to have faux freckles, even though they're fake. So I put enough so you can notice them when you look at me and kind of notice them if you're talking to me, but I don't put too many that you can, it's like right in your face, and I'm trying to be someone I'm not. That's kind of like my motto that I do. And then before we go into the lips, I am going to spray my face one more time with the spray that we used earlier, the Morphe Times Every Star Strawberry Scent one. So for lips, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline New York uh, Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Globet Trotter. Globet Trotter. Now, since we don't have a lip liner, this is going to be much difficult for me, but I'm going to try to do it. So let's go. Okay, so I don't think I did that well of a job, but that's okay. Also, I want to mention that it is okay to mess up. It's completely normal. We are human. We're not perfect. Nobody is. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I absolutely love this everything. Um, the only thing I wish I would have not done is probably the faux freckles because right around some areas it looks really, really fake. But that's just me. I love this look. I love looks like this. I love that. A bold lip really does make a difference and it is fall so of course I had to go with the orange lip more of like a fall pumpkin spice tone and the lashes I like but I probably won't wear again just because they're irritating my eyes so much but if they didn't I would have totally I'd wear them again I think they're natural they're not crazy crazy they kind of just look like I have eyeliner on and fuller lashes than I already did, which I really like because I do think I, I like the length of my lashes anyways. The eyeshadow is really simple for you guys because I want to make it simple. Um, I'm not here to give you intricate designs that you can't follow or ever follow. I want this to be a community where you can relate to what I'm saying and understand what I'm saying and not be confused or stressed or anything like that. We keep things simple here. That's why I use the same brush and the whole time. I try to make it as easy as possible and as easy, as easy as possible to follow and learn and have a little fun look that you can go out on date night in the fall and the Christmas time and Thanksgiving time and Halloween time and October time all the time. Honestly, this look would go for any time. I just thought it was appropriate for now. Okay, guys, so that comes to an end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all that you guys do. And I'm actually getting so much more subscribers recently, and I'm so excited. I am going to be start posting regularly. I know I've been a little bit on the ends of not doing that recently, but I'm going to get back on it. Don't you worry. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit the bell right in the description bar to be 
notified of all my future uploads, some like this, there are more coming. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms at sarahwalker5600, it'll be here on the screen somewhere. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps me out a ton, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!